Nebraska State Senator would put a limit on how much fluoride is in our drinking water, but also allow individuals' communities to decide if they want to have it in their water at all. Six News Joe Harris listened in on a committee hearing over the bill today and joins us live with more. So, Joe, what's being discussed exactly? John and Jacqueline, the CDC says for decades fluoride has been added to drinking water, a process called fluoridation, in order to help combat tooth decay. But State Senator Ben Hansen of Blair has a bill in front of the Nebraska legislature that would limit the amount of fluoride cities put in water to 0.7 milligrams per liter. It would also require cities and towns to pass ordinances during general elections to decide whether or not their water should be fluoridated. Among the bill's supporters are Austin, Texas-based dentist Dr. Griffin Cole, who says fluoridation should be an informed decision between a patient and practitioner instead of being mandated. Most peer-reviewed research and even the CDC now acknowledge that any benefit from fluoride is derived through topical use, toothpaste, mouthwash, and dental treatments. Now, Senator Hansen cited a recent review from the National Toxicology Program it says 18 out of 19 studies linked lower IQ to fluoride, but pediatric dentist Dr. Jessica Miski pushed back. The National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine conducted a peer review of the draft report that was mentioned earlier by the National Toxicology Program. And these national academies found that this report failed to make a clear and convincing argument to support its conclusions about the negative effects of fluoride. Now, critics of this bill say it, won't, it wouldn't make a difference. They say the levels of fluoridation it would set are already being implemented across the state. Now, this bill must first make it out of the Health and Human Services Committee before being debated on the floor. Live from the newsroom, Joe Harris, 6 News. All right, thanks, Joe.